Hello, everybody. I uh, want to thank you for you know visiting here and for downloading my stencils and brushes for Rebel. So this is a, a video that I've had requested on how to install them. It's really not difficult. Um, it just has some minor, I guess, nuances to it and maybe slight frustrations to it, but it's not too bad. So when you open up the stencils panel, which you get to from Window, and then it'll be in here, um, or F10, and you open that up, then this will it'll pull up this window. Now, when you first open it, if you don't have everything in here, it'll just say default. And then what you want to do is go over and add a group, okay? And it'll put a group in. It'll be named My Stencils, okay? And so what you do is when you've got this one selected, okay, like that, so that's blue, so it's selected, then you're going to go over to here again, and you're going to create stencil from image file. Click on that. And then what you'll do is you'll go to wherever you've downloaded the stencils to, and you can select all of them and just, you know, just go ahead and select all of them and then click open and it will open them into. Now here I'll I'll do some here cuz I don't want to do all of them. Um, I'll just grab a couple and click open. And so it'll take it a second. And then there you go. So they're in here. Now what I do is I dump them all into a stencils folder because I've had to do this a couple times from when I was doing the beta testing for six, you know, installing them so I could test stuff, uninstall them, put them in the next version, blah, blah, blah. So what I found worked easiest was just dump all these into one stencil group. Okay. Then go and add new groups. And then when you add them, double click so that you can title it. And then all you have to do is open that group and just drag and drop the stencils into those groups to organize them. Okay, so a little tedious, uh, but it does work. And for me, I thought it was quicker because then I could see everything. I could drag this box to be however big I wanted, and I could just see it and drop, 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 and then move on. Okay, so it took just a few minutes to do everything. All right, so. Um, that's how you do the stencils, okay? And then when, that way you've got them all organized into what you need. I just put mine, you know, based on water, people and animals, rocks, uh, trees, and so forth, you know, various canvas textures, however you want to organize them. I just like it this way because I can quickly see it, okay? So that's how I do the stencils. So again, pretty easy. Brushes are very similar. So what you would do is you'd come over to whatever brush you're going to import. Now you have to do it by brush. So in other words, if you're doing the, the oil brushes, for the acrylic brushes that I have, like these, you would come into this one. If you have any of the express oils, you'd come into that one. Uh, watercolors, blah, blah, blah. So any, any brushes. And you would add a group, just like I did there. Okay. So go in, add a group. And then when I have the group here, what I'm going to do is select that group. Then I'm going to go to Import Brush Preset. Okay, and then I'll now on yours it probably wouldn't have it like this because this is actually already in Rebel, so it's under each section. Uh, for yours, it would probably just say T and Artist Brushes, and you'd click on it. Then you can highlight all of this, and you don't need to worry about this one, but highlight all these and then tell it open. And then what it'll do is it will open them in here. Now that will take a minute. Uh, at least every time I've done it, it's taken just it gets to the point where you're like, wait, did that do it or did it not? Um, it does. And if it doesn't, then just go back and do them, you know, a couple of time or whatever. But anyway, it should import them all quickly, like you have them here. And then you have, then you just rena rename this, and you'll have it uh, all sorted out in there. So not again, not real difficult. Just a couple things to remember is that you have to do it by brush type. So you would do oil brush, you would do the. Um, Express oils and so forth. Okay, so any of those that are divided up. Uh, most of the ones that are in the brush set right now are oil. Uh, so you would just go into here and do them. And then that's how you do the stencils as well. So uh, what the other thing I did was, was because I like using these a lot, was then I, once I've got them in here, I just right click on it and then um, add to copy brush preset to favorites. And then that puts it into here. Okay, so that way I can go back. Now, once you do that and you've got all these in here, you could put watercolor brushes in here, you could put ink brushes, whatever. Uh, you can put all your brushes in here, so that way you don't have to keep going back and forth. That's the whole point of this. So it works really well, 
and does it. And hopefully that makes it a little bit easier to understand. Cause like I said, I've had several people ask on how to do it, like how to set it up. Uh, it's not a difficult process. I think there could be some streamlining in it that they could work on. Uh, I've mentioned it to escape motion. So hopefully they will, they will implement it. Cause I know a few other people had some similar thoughts. So if you have questions, comments, suggestions, or anything like that, just let me know. Uh, again, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you uh, buying my, uh, brush set. If you're watching this video, that means that's what you've done. And I appreciate you being a supporter. So have a fantastic day and take care.